I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story. We're in the western suburbs of Chicago on a perfect day with John Archecki. We're going to see a great 57, but this one, John, is a little bit of a spin because it's not a car on My Car Story. John, what do we have here today? We have a 1957 short bed, step side, side bound. <laughs> You're going to love this one, a pickup. So, Lou, you don't show many pickups well when they look like this. Come on right alongside me, John. How long have you had this one? I had this about a year. And why did you have to get this pickup? It completes the set of 57s. Yes, you've got the 57 Nomad that we featured. We're going to feature his 57. Come on with me, John. We're going to feature his 57 convertible at some point. But when I saw this truck... This just takes you right back to 1957. Step alongside me, John. So you've just recently won a trophy with this, which is not a huge surprise. How do you feel about this one? Well, I figured it's a nice uh, pickup truck. Brings back the old memories of when uh, you drive an old truck. Everybody likes a truck. Everybody loves trucks. Yeah. Look at this. So the 3100 Chevrolet, got it. Can we pop the hood on this one while oh, we got the sun in there? There we go. Wow. That's clean, isn't it? Look at all the room on both sides. Wow. Is that nice or what? This is amazing this truck survived and it looks as good. Change every 4,000 miles. That seems actually pretty high, right, for a truck? Every 4,000 miles? I would uh, imagine depending on the conditions you're under. Yeah. That's a little bit of a surprise. I mean, even the, you know, they've got the part number. Look at here, your distributor. The new Thrift Master. Wow, they've really done this one well. Just amazing. Just amazing. How many times have you had at the shows? We'll close that. I took it to uh, Actually, two shows. You know what? Let's keep that up. Let's start it for a second. Go ahead. You took it to two shows. Two shows and uh, one best to show at both uh, shows. Wow. That's a real compliment. Got a unique way to start it too. We're gonna to show you that when we take it for a ride. You just listen to the exhaust note, which there isn't much. Wow. Okay, we'll shut that down. Let's shut that down, John. The dog dish caps. This is why you've got the step side with the side mount. <laughs> I'll let you concentrate on the bags for a second. <laughs> Classic. Oh, that's hysterical. Good sense of humor, John. Look at the bed. Let me step back, take a look back here. Wow. Let me let you close that hood for a second. I want to take a look through there. If you look at the, the work on this bed. Absolutely fantastic. Beautiful. John, can we open this side up? You've got the U.S. Royal Safety 800 on it. And we'll take a look inside. So as we've opened it up, you can see we've got the metal on the door here. You've got this wonderful 
pad there. It's metal on the bottom, cushion on the top, your side vent. Look at that max capacity. Now this brochure, we've already opened it up for you, so our trunk and treats are in the side. Notice it says the sweep side vision or the wraparound window. You're, and it shows you the different trucks for 57. The stylish Suburban, your delivery sedan, they actually put that in the truck section, your nomad like car. So then this is this is basically yours right here. Correct. Okay. That's great. I'm gonna let you fold this up so we could show them other pieces to it. And then we have our truck operator's manual. Take a look at the interior. Notice you've got your Chevrolet there. We've got the three on the tree, the right amount of pedals, your parking brake, your Chevy bow tie there. Check out the top. Now, John, this is a custom interior here? Yeah. So when you say custom, it's the upgrade? The upgrade. Wow. So this is just, all right, now we'll show them kind of what this brochure looks like. For 57, there's your truck. Here's your specifications. And you've already seen it up folded all the way out, so we won't do that. But we'll just show you your power plants. We have the six in this one. Your transmissions. Just great stuff right there. And there's your 12 volt ignition. 12 volt must have been like first year for that in 57? 55. 55, thank you. It is great. Your speaker, your radio, notice your heater down there. Boy, it's tough to pass. I know it's my car story, but we just couldn't pass this one. This one's way too good. John, let's, let's take it for a ride. Let's go. John and I are getting the chance to ride in the 57 pickup. I want to show you how this starts. So John, show them what you're doing with your foot here. You turn, turn the, the key, key on, and you hit the button on the floor. Button on the floor. So that's your starter. That's your starter. That engages the starter. And here we are, right back in 1957. I love the hood. Naturally, we wanted to take it out on a country road. So we got just the right road for it. Now you said you wanted this one because you wanted to complete the 57s. Correct. So all you collect is, well not all you collect, but one of the things that you like to specialize in is the 57s. If, and if something else nice comes along, <laughs> we'll why, buy it. Why the 57s? What made the 57s so special for you? The 57 uh, Chevy convertible was my first car when I was 16. You had a 57 Chevy convertible for your first car. First car. Black with a white top, red and silver interior. How paid $350 for it. <laughs> you're, you're paying that just for like parts? People, Holy cow. People would, would buy those all day for that kind of money. How did you feel? Did you know it was something special when you were 16? Uh, a friend of mine's brother had one. Yeah. And it was a red 57 convertible with a black top. And I always thought, boy, that was a nice car. When you're 16, any car really looks nice to you. But the 57, I mean, it was always a, a cool design. Right? It, it was a last minute design. <laughs> that was really well done, for sure. We're going to take people down this country road with us. And Enjoy it. Sometimes people like to see the, the view. Now, you're kind of cramped in here a little bit. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, if we kind of pull back, you got the big wheel, the legs are kind of up into the chest a little bit. There wasn't much room in them. Yeah, and lots of window room, as you can see. That's probably because people were smaller back in the day. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a little bit. Love the, love the hood. Go ahead, you're going to say something. There weren't many McDonald's around at the time, right? <laughs> there weren't many McDonald's. We didn't have the chance to beef us up. You can look at our road. I feel
feel like that song, the John Denver song, Take Me Home Country Road. Country Road. There you go. To the place where we belong. There we go. It feels like we belong in here. Lost in the 50s. There you go. Wow, right back to 1957 with this one. What a great truck. Look at that. Upon Church Road. Let's go pick up a couple chicks at the feed <laughs> store. <laughs> hey, let's pick up a couple chicks at the feed store. Oh, that's fantastic. He's talking about actual chickens at the feed store. <laughs> In case my wife's watching. <laughs> that's great. How's it feel shifting? It looks smoke. No problem. Yeah, it looks just great. Like a hot knife cut in butter. Is that right? The hot knife cut in butter. Sweet. Rides like a pickup, but it rides good for a pickup. You know, it's not it's not beating you up. I would imagine it would be different if you had a load in the back where it would yeah, right. be kind of stiff on you. Yeah. Bouncing. Well, what a great ride. We're gonna keep riding in the country here just a bit. John, always a treat getting together with you. I couldn't pass on your pickup, it's just way too cool. So uh, you get the rare opportunity to get a pickup on my car story, but what a wonderful, wonderful truck. And uh, I can see why it's an award winner. Thanks so much for being on my car story.